Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche Advice. We're going to talk about contractors. Contractors come in all different walks of life, okay? And you've got <coughs> your daily rate contractors, your IT contractors. You've got your carers that are doing caring. You've got your nurses. You've got your teachers. Uh, you've got people that are on zero-hour contracts, the drivers, the delivery guys. So contracts is not just do you do contractor mortgages? There's lots of contractor mortgage type of schemes out there. And there are lots of different lenders with different criteria when it comes to contracting. So let's touch on it. The first type of contracting a lot that I've been doing for many, many years now is your daily rate contractors. Okay, They are essentially, uh, a good example of that could be an IT consultant. Okay an IT consultant who is getting a daily rate, okay? So they may be on, I don't know, 400 pounds a day, okay? Um, now, generally the way that works is lenders, there are a number of lenders, high street lenders, well-priced lenders, that will say, right, okay, whatever the daily rate is, we've got a calculation. They don't have to show us their in uh, accounts, essentially, okay? Or we will work off their daily rate, especially with IT contractors, because there's so much demand there, they're always going to be in a job. That's what the lenders are saying. So they'll just work on their daily rate. So the best one out of there is your daily rate times five times 48. And that will give you your income. So let's say daily rate is 400 pounds a day times five times 48. That will give you 96,000 pounds worth of income and they generally they could go up to between four and a half to five times that income okay and that's the best one that I'm aware of okay so uh, and that's for an IT contractor now there may be other lenders but that's really if you're contracting with one company for example you're an IT contractor and you work for I don't know Vodafone okay the rules around that is generally they want you in one contract maybe they've had one extension already um, or you've got some industry experience so you can show you can go back and say yes I've only been in this contract for three months however I've got five years worth of experience here's my CV okay so generally that's how they will work on things okay so CVs are quite important gaps between contracts are quite important for a lot of this sort of stuff okay and what you do okay so that's that. You've got other lenders that will treat um, uh, contracts different. So there are one or two lenders that will say, look, we'll accept it if they are working for two entities, for example. OK, um, so they will use that with daily rate calculation, maybe not as generous, maybe times 46 instead of 48. Um, but they will they will do that. So um, contracting now, you have got a lot of changes happening with the contracting world. A lot of those people will know about the tax changes and HMRC um, HMRC sort of scrutiny under this scheme, and a lot of employers because of that are turning and and looking to turn those contractors into employed staff okay uh, so there's more and more and more i'm getting a lot more of my clients phoning me i'm saying bloody hell, i've had to take a pay rise i'm now employed you know a pay not pay rise a pay decrease sorry uh, i'm now employed you know and they've been contracting for years okay um there's a little little word called ir35 but you know we won't talk about that too much okay um so that's that's that one type of contract so they're essentially self-employed so they run it by a limited company all sole traders but the lenders don't really care about that side of things and what they will do is they will look into the client's background and their contracts okay so that's that then you've got the uh you've got the teaching assistants you've got the carers and people like that okay now they're on a contract as well now there's different types of contracts so there's a fixed term contract okay and generally if you are on a uh, fixed term contract the lender wants to see that you've got 12 months experience within that sector okay so you've been doing that job for 12 months certainly within the sector but generally they want to see a good track record and then there's something else called the zero hour contract okay the zero hour contract is basically when people when i see pay slips okay uh, or bank statements and it's 500 pounds 800 pounds 1,000 pounds, 900 pounds, and it's up and down. That tells me that the client, because not most clients will just say, I'm earning this much. But when it's up and down, that tells me that it's generally, a, it could be a zero hour contract. So zero hour contracts, basically, you don't know what you're going to be earning from week to week or maybe month to month. So um, again, the lenders have got a quite a simple rule. A lot of the lenders out there, 12 months. 
So they want to see 12 months track record of you doing that job because then they can determine, they can look at a holistic approach and they go, right, over the last 12 months, this is how much this person's earned. So it's no point loading it for the first three months or loading it for the last three months. They want to see the average because your income is certainly based on demand, demand for you. Okay, so zero hour contract is generally that. Now a lot of calls I get where people have changed jobs and they're in zero hour contract now and maybe they've been there for three months. They go, well, I was told you can do it three months. No, not when you're in a zero hour contract. Um, lenders want to see that you can earn that money long term. Okay, so these are the different types of contracting. We deal with all of them, okay, um, and there are lots of different lenders that will deal with various things. Some lenders, like I said, will look at IT consultants differently. Others will say no. You, you know, some of them will say, look, you know, for example, you've got a lender say, as long as you're earning under uh, uh, over seventy-five thousand pounds, then we will use your daily rate. Others will say no. There is no minimum uh, in that. Uh, there are some lenders that will say, look. Um, Although you've only been in your contract for the first month, however, because you've got two years industry experience, we will accept that. So, you know, there are reasons why there are so many lenders doing this contracting stuff. It is up in the air a little bit, but um, that's for buy to let and residential. So there are lenders that will use daily rates and contracting rates and zero hour rates for different types of mortgages. Hopefully this is giving you an overview on it. If you are interested in getting some more information about it, do get in touch with me. And if you've liked this, like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.